We all know Azure, Peng, and Yellow Tusk were trapped in the scroll of memory, but I think there's actually something deeper going on here. I think that they are all deeply connected to the scroll, and that this all has to do with the real villain's master plan. Just a refresher, we do know there is a secret mastermind who has been pulling the strings. As the Jade Emperor told Azure, You are a mere piece in someone else's game. I did actually make a video about who I think the real villain is, but this video is about something crazier. First of all, Azure seems to be able to control the scroll. Like seriously, he has some sort of mastery over it, and it is never explained how he can trap people in the scroll or go into it to look through memories. Now, you might think, oh, because Azure's friends were stuck in the scroll, Maybe he studied it and learned how to control it. But no. According to Azure, he, the Golden Winged Peng, and Yellow Tusk the Wise were all stuck in the scroll. And I'm thinking Azure was in there until very recently. It was with their combined power that we were cut down, imprisoned within this scroll. Now, I've seen quite a few people say they think this mysterious hooded person released Azure and that Azure was trapped in this piece of the scroll. However, I actually think Azure was in the piece of the scroll kept in Sun Wukong's cave. Why? Well, in season 4, after MK's friends get trapped in the scroll, Azure seemingly comes out of nowhere. But when he appears, he, MK, and Mei are all in Monkey King's cave, in Flower Fruit Mountain. However, the cave is protected by a magical seal that only Sun Wukong and MK can get past. Only the Monkey King can get through the magical barrier, but also me. In fact, in Season 4 Episode 1, we see that the ink curse of the scroll cannot get out of the cave because of the magical seal. There is absolutely no way Azure could have gotten in unless he was already there. So, he must have been trapped in the piece of the scroll in Monkey King's cave. Additionally, the scroll of memory is covered in these symbols, and these symbols are Oracle Bone Script Zodiac symbols. And we see that this piece of the scroll has the Oracle Bone Script Zodiac symbol on it. But when someone is trapped in a piece of the scroll, the Zodiac symbols turn into other symbols. Sun Wukong's piece that he is trapped in doesn't have Zodiac symbols. And then we see this piece that has the zodiac symbols, but when Red Sun gets trapped in it, the symbols change and are no longer zodiac symbols. If you are wondering what the new symbols say, well, Petrie from Twitter informed me that the new symbols actually seem to be the characters' names. I also did some digging and found this post on Reddit asking someone to translate the symbols, and Civil Blueberry. 7096 confirmed that they are indeed the characters' names, and that some scroll pieces in Season 4 Episode 9 have DBK and Princess Iron fans' names on them. So, Azure cannot have been trapped in this specific piece of the scroll because it doesn't have his name on it. It just has zodiac symbols. So, I'm thinking that maybe the pieces of the scroll are connected. So the hooded figure was able to use a piece of the scroll to release Azure from the piece he was trapped in, in Monkey King's cave. Anyway, my point is, if Azure was stuck in the scroll that whole time, how could he be able to control it as soon as he got out? Where did he learn to do this? How does he have the power to do this? Not even Sun Wukong has this power, otherwise he would have closed the scroll immediately. And, did you notice? Azure's arm seems to be made out of ink. Yes, I'm talking about his black arm. You may think, oh, that's just the natural colour of his arm. However, while it is not so obvious in the show, in the Lego sets we can see that Azure's black arm is made of ink. We can clearly see the purple and black ink oozing on his chest and back. There were also these ink demons in the sets, and while they were not in the show, we do see they are black with purple ink oozing out of them, just like Azure's arm on his minifigure. 
Azure's legs and feet are also black like his arm, so I'm going to go ahead and assume they are also made of ink. Now, briefly, in the show, we see this. It is super brief, but we see a splotch of ink drop off of Azure's hand and onto his magical symbol thing. We also see that Azure's arm was not always black. Well, we don't see his arm exactly, but we see his hand. When Azure was a celestial warrior, both his hands were teal blue. However, after he left his position as a celestial warrior and recruited Sun Wukong, we see his arm and hand became black, and also seemingly his legs. So, what does this mean? Well, I'm thinking that whoever the real villain is, they heavily brainwashed Azure using the scroll of memory, but as a result of this, part of his body was turned to ink. I do think that other characters in the show have had their memories messed with, but Azure's memories haven't just been changed. He is brainwashed to the point where he is barely in control of his own thoughts. He does not question how he was freed from the scroll, something the Jade Emperor mentions to his face. How is it you come to stand before me today, Azure? Was there a point where you questioned it? Even when the Jade Emperor directly asks him how he was freed, Azure just ignores it. Evidently, this is because he is brainwashed. But the brainwashing goes even further than this. First of all, Azure says that Su Kong and the other pilgrims locked him, Peng, and Yellow Tusk in the scroll. But we don't even see this occur when Azure is showing MK his memories. What we do see is this frame. And quite frankly, the pilgrims look rather evil and not like what they look like in other flashbacks. Also, why would the pilgrims imprison Azure and his friends in the scroll? As far as we know, this is not what happened with other antagonists they faced, and why would they even have access to the scroll in the first place? And there is something else. What if Azure never wanted to overthrow the Jade Emperor? What if he was just brainwashed into thinking he wanted that? I mean, the Jade Emperor said this to Azure. Your arrival is opportune, Azure. Were my time not already at its end, I doubt you would have stood a chance of overthrowing me. It is clear that whoever released Azure from the scroll purposely did it when the Jade Emperor was nearing the end of his time. So, whoever brainwashed Azure clearly did it with the intent of overthrowing the Jade Emperor. And the thing is, Azure said he was a celestial warrior, that he saw injustice, and then he recruited Sun Wukong to help him overthrow the Jade Emperor. But there is a lot missing from the story. When Azure found Sun Wukong, he had no ink arm, so he hadn't been brainwashed. But right after, we see the Brotherhood had formed and Azure has his ink arm. Azure must have been brainwashed after the scenes where he saw Sun Wukong, and only after he was brainwashed did he form the Brotherhood so they could overthrow the Jade Emperor. Additionally, in the show, when Azure finds Sun Wukong, he has no ink arm, but he clearly hasn't met Sun Wukong. But in the intro, we see the same scene, but Azure has his ink arm, and he is meeting Sun Wukong. The difference between these two scenes could indicate memories have been altered, but it could also indicate that between these two scenes is when Azure was brainwashed and part of him turned to ink. What is also interesting is Azure never explains how he met Peng and Yellow Tusk. They are apparently his closest friends, yet we never see them when he was a celestial warrior, before the appearance of his income, before it seems he was brainwashed. Peng and Yellow Tusk just appear when the Brotherhood is formed, and this leads me to something really big. Azure, Peng, and Yellow Tusk all have the same purple and pink symbol on them. Azure has it on his belt, Peng has it on his chest plate, and Yellow Tusk has it on his headband. So what is the meaning of these symbols? Well, these symbols are actually linked to the scroll of memory. How, you ask? Well, Azure, Peng, and Yellow Tusk also have these symbols on them in the Lego sets, although the symbols look slightly different in the sets. But, there are also these ink demons in the sets, although they haven't appeared in the show. Nonetheless, these ink demons have the exact same symbol on them. So, Azure, Peng, and Yellow Tusk 
are all wearing symbols linked to the scroll of memory. Additionally, the yellow tusk elephant set has banners with this symbol on it, with ink even dripping down the banner. Now, what is interesting is that, although Azure doesn't have this pink and purple symbol in the flashbacks, he does still have a belt. It is just missing the symbol. Although, in this frame the symbol is visible, just not coloured purple and pink. Now, what does this mean? I believe it indicates that the real mastermind gave Azure the belt, but the belt wasn't activated before. But now it is activated, if that makes sense. So, after Azure failed to take down the Jade Emperor the first time, the real mastermind activated the belt, linking Azure to the scroll and giving him power over it, hence why he can control it. Now, you'll notice that, while Azure doesn't have the pink and purple symbol in the flashbacks, Peng and Yellow Tusk do. We never see them without them. This is also before Azure said that they were all trapped in the scroll. So, this leads me to believe that Peng and Yellow Tusk were actually created from the scroll, or at least were created by the real mastermind, who is somehow linked to the scroll. Remember how I said it was odd that, despite being Azure's close friends, Peng and Yellow Tusk appeared out of nowhere when the Brotherhood was formed? I think this must be because they were created by the real mastermind. The first time they show up is when the Brotherhood is formed, and that is also the first time Azure's ink arm makes an appearance. So, Azure must have been brainwashed into accepting their existence. Another thing that indicates that Peng and Yellow Tusk are made from the scroll is the fact that they look similar in some ways. They both have the same green markings around their eyes, and their eyes themselves are very similar colours. Now, why would the mastermind create Peng and Yellow Tusk? Well, they are useful. Their purpose is to help Azure defeat the Jade Emperor. We do also definitely know that it is within the realm of possibility for people to be made from the scroll. This is because Tang, Pigsy, and Sandy all acquire the weapons of the original pilgrims in the scroll. But these are just the memories of the original weapons. However, when they get out of the scroll, the weapons come with them, and their new clothes. Yellow Tusk actually takes the weapons and uses them in his spells, even though these weapons are not the real or original weapons. In fact, we saw the real version of Tong Sanjong's monk staff way back in Season 2, Episode 2. So, if magical weapons can be made from the scroll, I think it's likely people can be too. To conclude, it seems someone has brainwashed Azure using the scroll of memory, which must have caused his arm, as well as his legs, to turn to ink. Him being connected to the scroll explains how he has control over it. Peng and Yellow Tusk seem to be made from the scroll of memory, and this and Azure's brainwashing explains how they just came out of nowhere. When they failed to take down the Jade Emperor, Azure, Peng, and Yellow Tusk were put inside the scroll and were not released until the Jade Emperor was at his weakest. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more Monkey Kid theories. I've also made a bunch of Monkey Kid animations.